Yeah, honestly, we have to go game by game. Still 12 games, like you said. It's a lot of games ahead. And we have a difficult stretch now that uh, we have, I think, six games in three weeks and a half or something like that. I ha we have four games away to two games at home. Now, uh, Saturday, we have uh, one of the toughest games for sure because Colorado is playing so, so good. We know each other very well for sure because of Robin and Greg. They were working together since many years. Then I think we have to be really focused for this game because it's going to be like a real playoff game. And I think if we can get the three points, we're going to be in these three, four uh, first places that we want to be. And what's the attitude been like in training? I mean, if you get so many guys away on international duty, but um, how has the intensity been for the guys who stay back? No, it's good. It's been a good uh, atmosphere. We are working really hard to, to get uh, the same uh, results we were getting before the stretch, before this break. And I think we were working really well. We were working a lot of things that uh, we must improve because the last games we didn't we didn't show our best, or maybe uh, we didn't deserve uh, what we expect. But I think we are in the good way. We miss a lot of guys, of course, but lucky also that we have many guys here. That uh, the defensive line, it's all of them. They are here, and we could work a lot of uh, things with them, and also for the attackers and. Tomorrow, I think we're going to have maybe a lot of the guys that they, they were away, uh, they're going to be back and then ready for Saturday. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next little Larry Morgan. Hi, Victor. Thanks for speaking with us. Hey, thank you. Um, I'd like to ask you about playing at Colorado, which historically has been a difficult place, not only for the Galaxy, but for all MLS teams. Yeah. Does it ever get any easier playing at altitude? you ever get used to it, uh, know what to expect, know how to handle it? Yeah, it's difficult to handle. Uh, you know what you expect for sure because it's going to be difficult to breathe. It's going to be difficult to manage a lot of uh, situations during the game. And you never get used. Uh, you get used when you are playing in there like every couple of weeks, like every week, like Colorado is doing, Salt Lake is doing. When I was doing in Mexico too with uh, Cruz Azul, for me at the beginning it was so tough to, to get used to that. But it's only 90 minutes. I think if you are well prepared, I think you can do it because it's just 90 minutes. You have to be intelligent about manage some kind of situations, maybe not to press all the time 90 minutes because you're going to be tired or you're going to uh, struggle a bit more. And we have to be focused on all these things. But I think we are a pretty uh, big group that we have like 16, 17, 18 players that we can, all of, the, all of us, we can uh, perform in a good way. And this, uh, it's on the hands of the staff. I think they're going to manage as good as possible. But the guys that we start the game, we have to be really focused on to try to manage the situation as good as possible. And the guys that uh, can come in after the, to keep the same level. I'd like to ask you about Javier. You know, you've seen him in training, especially the last couple of weeks, as he gets closer to returning. How close does he look? I mean, is he ready to go? Yeah, I think uh, Chicha is doing well. The last couple of weeks that we had the break, I think he's improving a lot. He's feeling much, much better. Of course, he's not a, at uh, his 100%. But uh, you, can, you can see uh, when Chicha is back on the training, the feelings are good. Uh, it's, uh, it's easy to play with him. I think he's ready to be back on Saturday. This depends on uh, Greg. Uh, and also uh, on Chichas, uh, we'll see how he feels. But all, always to have uh, Javier back, it's, it's fine for the team. And I think it's going to be really helpful for, for this, uh, for this uh, last stretch. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Uh, next, we'll go to Gio Garcia. Hey, Victor. Good to see you. Hey, um, thank you. Obviously, I know, I know Damien had mentioned there's about like 12 teams left. Um, how do you feel with these games? Because um, obviously you guys, you guys, you're a big uh, presence in the midfield and what you do. Um, you know, sometimes you, you came off the bench, sometimes you you know you started. Mm -hmm. But where do you see yourself for the, for the re remainder of the season uh, and what you do in the midfield? Because I feel like the midfield is, is a big part of what you guys do. Yeah, like you said, uh, we are many guys on the midfielder, and I think Greg and the staff they are managing the situations really good. Uh, they they are. Uh, they they always talk to us how we feel how we how 
how we how or how we will like to 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 be on the games. Uh, I think uh, we are managing the situations very well. I think we have like many guys that they can step in and they can do the things at the same level or even better than the ones that uh, they start the game. And for myself, I, I I try to manage as good as possible. We are getting also more old. We have also guys that they are young that they they have maybe like this like more power or more energy to bring in the team and that's why we are sometimes uh, uh, starting the game so sometimes we are start uh, starting on the bench and I think we are doing good I think like I said we have uh, a lot of uh, possi possibilities on the on the midfield and I think the staff they are doing pretty well and we have to to understand when we have to be on the start we have to understand we, that we have to push and when we are on the bench we understand that we have to come in on the field to give something more. Thanks. We have time for a couple more questions. Next, we'll go to Nikki Kay. Hi, hi Victor. Good to see you. Um, hi. What were your biggest takeaways from the last time you guys played Colorado? And, and all that was missing was, was just a goal, uh, from what I remember, in, in terms of the responses from your coach and your teammates. How do you guys capitalize on that? this time around? Yeah, I think uh, in the game here at home in LA, we were better than them. Uh, of course, we deserve much more on that game. But like I said before, I think sometimes in football, when you deserve more, you didn't get nothing. When you deserve less, you get the result. But it was a pretty good game. I think we played good. At the beginning of the game, we struggled a bit with uh, these uh, counterattacks that they are uh, waiting for us. Because also, like I said, Robin and Greg, they know each other pretty well. Then. Greg knows that they want to have the ball. Robin knows that we want to have the ball, and it's this kind of game, you know. And I think we were having the ball, but we didn't. Maybe we didn't create the chances that we want to because we didn't go maybe into the space that much. We were controlling the ball, but not creating these chances. They create these counterattacks that it was really dangerous for us. They they got this penalty, and then after that, I think we were much better than them during all all the game. And I think we have to take that. We have to take this, that when we are good with the ball and we have these guys running behind the defenders and created these kind of chances, we're going to score goals. And then be as strong as possible in the defensive side because we are missing that on the last games. And I think now we refocus on this break and we talk each other a lot that we have to be as a team and working the 11 guys or the 10 guys uh, as good as possible on the defensive uh, the, the, uh, defensive side and get the clean sheet because always we're going to score goals. We know we have a, a good guys in front that we always can score goals.